buzzing in the Beehive State. Tomorrow, the eight passengers case, uh, the child abuse case with Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt, that's going to end uh, with both women being sentenced in St. George. Yeah, that's right. Our Brian Schnee is there now preparing for tomorrow's big day. Take a listen. Hey, it's Brian Schnee in Hurricane, Utah tonight, ahead of tomorrow's sentencing in St. George at the 5th District Courthouse for Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand. Ruby expected to be in there at 10, Jody Hildebrand shortly after at 1030. This will be sentencing based on the plea agreement that both swore to in late 2023. This was right around the holidays when both ended up pleading guilty to four counts of a second degree felony here in the state of Utah pertaining to aggravated child abuse. Tomorrow expecting to be a formality of sorts based on that plea agreement. Both uh, pled to serve jail time and at this point it could be one to 15 years for each of those charges with a max of 30 years. So we'll see how things play out tomorrow in the 5th District Courthouse here in St. George. All right, thank you, Brian. And like he said, uh, both women pled guilty to uh, the same four child abuse charges, all of them second degree felonies in Utah. Uh, in their guilty pleas, the women att admitted to very disturbing things. A list of a few. Uh, Ruby said that she would kick her kids with heavy boots on, hold their heads underwater, and force them to stand in the southern Utah sun with no shoes on and no water breaks, among other things. Jody said that she would bind the children, withhold food, and basically lock them in solitary confinement. Yeah, and that just scratches the surface. If you want more details, we have extensive coverage on our KUTV YouTube channel and KUTV.com. There's been some debate on how much time the women could serve and whether or not they'll get the same amount. Okay, so uh, we also want to hear what you think. You can scan the QR code to weigh in. How steep do you think the penalties should be for Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt? And right now, 8% of you, 87% of you are saying steep penalty for both.